Hey, what's up guys? Coach Austin here with Physique Development. I'm here with Coach Sue, and we're gonna talk about the sumo deadlift. So if you're doing the sumo deadlift, this is a very, very popular movement. And if you're doing it for physique-based goals, there's a few things we need to keep in mind and in how it differs from the strength-based sumo deadlift that people use in powerlifting competitions. So first thing that we're gonna go over, again, if this is a physique-based goal, we really need to see where our hip flexion requirements are and basically what point do we hit greatest hip flexion. So what we're gonna do is go kind of through a active range of motion hip flexion test with Sue. And so basically I'm just gonna have her bring that leg up. And so basically what we're looking for is at what point of abduction does she need to get to to work around the pelvis to get the greatest amount of hip flexion. And that's as wide as we need to go. So typically in a sumo deadlift, you see people's feet and leg stance extremely, extremely wide, which if you're in powerlifting competition, that's fantastic because it's a much shorter range of motion. If you're with a physique-based goal, if you have a physique-based goal, we're looking to train the musculature through a wide and a the greatest distance of range of motion that we can, rather. So we don't wanna to be too wide, but we wanna be wide enough to, to where we get a good amount of hip flexion. So here we are with Sue, and I'm gonna have her just go through it at this angle for you, and then we're gonna go into the bar. So if she kinda of goes down, you can see that her knees are going to track out in line and in between that first, that big toe and that second toe, okay? And so as she flips around here, and goes onto the bar. You're gonna see her set up in that same way. Again, in terms of the mechanics of the deadlift, she's looking to create a neutral spine. She's looking to have her core stabilized and compression with those abs. And as she comes down, she's looking to, before she pushes through the ground, she's looking to create tension in that upper back. Now, as she's looking to get this bar off the ground, she's not looking to pull the bar as much as she's looking just to push straight through the ground. So if she does that for us and drives up and her hips drive through, great glute exercise here. It's going to light up the posterior chain and be a great movement for you. A common mistake that we see among this movement, again, is feet being too wide and then your intent as you're picking up the bar tends to be outward instead of directly through the floor engaging those posterior muscles we're looking to engage. Thanks so much for watching. If you guys are interested in coaching, reading an article, or watching another video, check us out, physiquedevelopment.com.